Alright, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the T100 LT and how slash why it fell out of the community's favor very, very quickly. Um, a quick side note, I haven't been uploading for the past uh, three to four days just because I was quite sick, couldn't really get out of bed, and yesterday my girlfriend made the, the video for me. So if you're interested, you can also check that out. But uh, sorry, yeah, that's basically the side note for now. Anyway, the T100 LT is, of course, a tier 10 Soviet light tank. And uh, yeah, it was added uh, quite recently relative to World of Tanks Blitz, of course. And um, the tank itself is still quite good. So the, the tank had extremely good DPM when it came out. Very good gun handling. And, of course, on top of that, insane mobility. Since this tank was also a Soviet tank, it had some troll armor to it as well, which made this tank an insane combination. People were doing insane numbers on the T100LT, saying this is the most OP tank to ever come into Tier 10. And a lot of very good players were doing crazy numbers, 4.5k sessions on this thing and overall this thing was a menace and of course wargaming fully knowing full well that this tank would be very strong decided to add it to the game regardless people spent all their free xp so much silver coins whatever and uh, and then they decided to nerf it typical to what they do even with the type 71 i've talked about this in previous videos and anyway this tank was pretty much nerfed and this tank's DPM is now worse than a lot of other medium tanks. Even though it's a light tank, it should have been like this uh, from the beginning. But Wargaming, of course, decided to do it differently. Now, this tank's hype was so huge at the beginning that it just simply fell off the community's favor just because it wasn't as OP as it used to be. You don't see uh, people talking about the T100LT that much anymore. It's not that crazy of a tank. And uh, it just feels like maybe an above average tank at tier 10. Of course, it's not weak by any chance, but it's not as OP. It's not as OP as it used to be. And so people really, really quickly forgot about this tank. At least the, uh, the higher skill capped people more or less uh, don't necessarily talk about this tank that much. The tech tree itself is also not that great, at least in my opinion. The tier 9 tank is not that memorable to me. The tier 8 is, I mean, I don't know, the whole tech tree is a bit wonky, and the whole reason to get this tank, I mean, the whole reason to go for this tank wasn't the tech tree itself. For example, if you look at the Kron, you had a pretty interesting tech tree with the Emil, and then the Emil 2 was uh, quite interesting at its time to, to try out, but this tank's tech tree was a bit really, like, so in general once the tank was nerfed i feel like the community just forgot about this tank in general so i'm curious to see what you guys think about this tank in the comment section below and with that happy is out and i'll definitely see you guys next time Bye bye